last week in Tampa. The rookies of Team Mike and Soundly defeated the veterans of Team Elite in the first home run derby of the 2008 Long Haul Bomber Stadium Power Tour. All right, we're here with winner Denny Prine. How does it feel? Feels good, feels good. I'm a little worn out. That, uh, you know, it gets your adrenaline going and uh, pretty fast paced, so, uh, but it feels good. You know? How about winning as the rookie team? What do you think about that? Um, you know, I don't want to get too confident right now because it's a long season, so we'll see what happens. It felt good, though. I'm glad uh, for my partner, Danny, to hit 10. And this week, it's the other guy's turn as Team Mizuno takes on Team Easton. Brian, this is your first event ever. How do you feel today? I'm pretty jacked up. I ain't going to lie. Pretty fired up. <laughs> a little adrenaline, but a little nervous adrenaline, but it's good. Brandon, it's your first event. What's going through your mind right now? A little nervous. Want to get, up, get them going up in the air. Uh, Hoping I'll stay here and hit a thousand top spins. <laughs> to me, this thing's, they're all the same. I try to go out and put up between seven and ten home runs, stay consistent in each event, and uh, you end up in the finals. What goes through your mind when you step up to the plate? Hopefully I get in my domain when I, when I step in the box. Uh, uh, you know, you're a little nervous standing over here, but uh, most people, you know, we get in there, we get a couple practice swings, and then we finally relax and settle in, hopefully. These four teams will be performing in stadiums all across the country this summer, vying for softball glory, as well as a customized 2009 Viper motorcycle. Team Easton's Brett Helmer swung first. Helmer took home the trophy at last year's championship in Toronto, and this afternoon, he would officially start defending his title. And defended he did. He cranked 11 huge bombs. I feel good. You know what? That's a that's a good way to start the year. A um, little over what I was even hoping for. You know, I told you seven to ten. Eleven's a nice start. That was good. I felt really good. Did you see the one go way way out there up on the concourse? Yeah, I tied into one pretty good up there. So uh, I still got a little left in the tank for an old bald guy. So what do you think about that uh, Viper motorcycle? You think it's going to be yours? I think it looked good in the garage. That's for sure. Following the champ was one of the new guys, Brandon Murray of Team Mizuno. What's your goal for today? How many do you want to hit? My target number is getting nine out of the gate. Hopefully, I'm getting nine. It's a pretty big goal. Well, I mean, you got to have big goals. You can't think a lot. You don't come out here to lose. You remember that? I told you in California. Yes, you did. That's right. So, <laughs> All right. that's it. Well, we'll see what you can do, right? Yes, indeed. In his first long haul bomber performance, he blasted a respectable six home runs. But we also awarded Brandon five facial hair points for having such a well maintained beard. Congratulations, you can redeem those beard points for one large Frosty at Wendy's with another purchase of equal or greater value. I swung the bat real well today, overswung a little bit, uh, which is a home run derby. You want to get them in the air. I had a couple of deep ones, uh, I was happy with that. Just uh, maybe, you know, we get ready for New York in a few weeks, you know, get a couple in the air, instead of topping the ball so freaking bad. Uh, we'll get going as we go, so. Wanted a few more. I'm still disappointed on that six. I'm still aggravated with it right now. So. Well, we'll talk to you next time in New York. Then. Thank you. Thanks. Next up was Team Easton's Brian Wegman. What are your expectations? Eight. Eight's my goal. So if I get to eight, I'll be real happy. Also competing in his first ever long haul bomber home run derby. But you would have never known it. Wegman looked like a grizzled veteran out there, attacking each pitch like he's been doing this his whole life. Well, I guess he probably has been doing this for most of his life. Just not in a Major League Baseball stadium, minutes before two pro teams were sent to take the field. Wow. Okay, so you said your goal was eight, and today you hit nine home runs. What do you think about that? I'm happy. I'm happy with that. You got 20 as a team. 20 as a team, even better. Yeah. 20 as a team. That's good. That's real good. Congra yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It's good. So you've got a rookie teammate here with nine home runs. What do you think? I told you he'd do good. You asked me before we went out how I thought he'd do, and I said he'd do well, and he sure did. Uh, you put up you know, nine home runs every weekend in this thing, you will be in the finals guaranteed. Team Mizuno's Rusty Bumgardner would have to hit out every one of his 15 pitches to give his team the win. Well, and we're just glad to be back on, uh, on the stint here and, and uh, doing this stuff. Uh, been out for two years, so uh, no matter how many times you do this, you're, you're going to get nervous. So you know, I got goosebumps all over me, and uh, butterflies running through my stomach. So it's a, uh, uh, I mean, it's an honor, it's a privilege to come and do stuff like this. So you know, that's the way you got to look at it. After missing the last two years of competition, Bumgardner was eager to strut his stuff in the batter's box once again. He strutted just enough to tie Wegman with nine home runs of his own. Not bad, but maybe he's still a little. Rusty? Oh man, that was bad. I'm sorry. I I'm really sorry for that horrible pun. 
All right, Rusty, in your first appearance, you had nine home runs, tied for second place. What a great start. What do you think about that? That's pretty good. Uh, you know, never happy, um, satisfied. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll take nine. I'll take nine every weekend. That's a good number. As a spectator, I think you had one of the longest balls. Did you see that? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> that's, that, that's normally my problem. I try to hit them too far and don't hit too many. After one event, Team Easton has jumped out to the overall lead. 20 combines a big number, and uh, that'll stack up with anybody, I think. I mean, we're both swinging the same bat, and it's they're real good bats. Easton put out a good product this year, and it showed a little bit right there. That's good. Do you guys have any bonding activities planned for the two of you? <laughs> well, if lunch is a bonding activity, then yes. <laughs> lunch and beer. Lunch. Uh, uh, yeah, he drinks both our portions of beer, so. But I eat both our portions of lunch, so it all works out. Save a sober bullet for me, guys. You know, once again, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to come out here and do this stuff. So, you know, there's we're, we're still deep in our heart. We are competing, but, you know, hopefully we come out here and put on a good show for everybody. Uh, he feels that he should have hit a couple more. I feel that I should hit a couple more. Uh, you know, we'd like to have been up in the, you know, 18, 19 range possibly. So uh, we're satisfied. You know, it's, he's, we got rookie here, first, first time. And, of course, you rode in with us, so you know how nervous he was. He was okay. He wasn't that nervous. He wasn't too bad. He wasn't too bad. So did you see that Viper motorcycle? I, I've seen it online, and it's, uh, I mean, it's nice. It's very nice. Can you picture yourself on that chopper? I already have. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, best of luck winning the chopper. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Tune in next time when we'll be at San Francisco's AT&T Park for a Mike and Elite rematch. Seriously, tune in. I hear someone gets punched in the face. That's probably a rumor, but hey, you never know with these animals. Ben, are you excited to see the Sturby? Oh yeah, absolutely. This did, is exciting stuff. Did you come out just to see these guys hit? Yeah, that's the only reason. We're not even ready to go for the game yet, so we're going to watch them hit a little bit and then we'll get changed. So. What would you think about the show today? That was incredible, man. Those guys, not only are they huge, but they were putting balls out like that we would be amazed to see in a, in a real game. That was incredible. Incredible, yeah.